A lot of women say they want one thing, but then act in a different capacity. You have to be able to tell a man they did the wrong thing the right way. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Because if you tell him that he did the wrong thing the wrong way, you're not going to get the result that you want. Mm -hmm. So are you able to not criticize, but encourage and plant seeds in love? And this is another thing I get frustrated about because women are like, I don't want to have the patience to do this with my man. I don't have the patience to coddle him. Then don't date a top 1% masculine man. Don't Seriously. do it. Go get you a man that's a little more feminine, that is okay with not being coddled, that is okay with you having to plant seeds and do all these things. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. If you don't want a steak, don't order a steak. If you don't want a pizza, don't order a pizza. But you've got to get real with what it is that you're asking for. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I really halfway don't even understand Stand that particular video <laughs> um, because I mean it's two things that she said and the first part I think is really good which is just about you know being there for your man you know trying to take care of your man and trying to kind of do him right you know I think that side of it is really good um, you know just to to be in that space where as a woman you can be his soft place but the the, the part of it that I disagree with is she said the top 1% of masculine men, you have to do this and you have to kind of coddle them. And that's kind of where I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, because it really kind of breaks down as again, I have to think about the masculine men that I've been around in my life. And yes, they have their ups and their downs. And yes, there are times when their down is so strongly down that, you know, their friends, their family, definitely their wife will have to come in and be a blessing to them and kind of uplift them again. But I think that's everybody. But, you know, because a lot of masculine men go in so strong into things, that strength that they're bringing into said thing is, is very powerful. And dealing with that strength, when they hit the ground, it takes a lot, you know, for them to come back up. But I don't believe that that is coddling them. And I'm going to be real, that doesn't happen all the time. That's probably like a one in two or three year event. You know, maybe if the guy's, like I say, working on a business, maybe he's just, you know, starting some kind of new thing. And in this thing, he has a huge failure. Like I know people who have um, worked in the stock market. They've tried to do things with the stock market or in their own or maybe even with coaching. And they've lost, you know, five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars, you know, within a small window of time, maybe like three to six months. And so they feel defeated. And so it takes a little bit of time for them to kind of get back moving and grooving again. But again, this is not coddling them. This is not them being a big baby. And again, one of the things that I think is a huge problem in the African-American community, the generational black community, is that we have this mindset of that we don't really know what a masculine man looks like. And we keep coming up with all these different scenarios, generally because the woman involved is talking to a man that she thinks is masculine based off of what she's seen before in her life. And now she's trying to kind of figure this thing out, right? There was a, um, a thing years ago with um, one particular pastor, and he actually had gotten up in front of his entire congregation, and he had actually said that, you know, you need to have a woman that can take you and build you up and all this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not going to go into the details of what he said, but it became a big controversy. So much so that a lot of people in social media were, you know, were talking about it. And there were several dating influencers and different things like that that, you know, went into it. We're talking about it. <laughs> we're telling the guy that he was 100 percent wrong, that a man needs to be a man on his own before he even meets a woman. And see, to me, this is the same type of energy. I don't believe that a man walking in his true masculinity with the discipline and, you know, the home training that he was supposed to receive is actually going to need to be coddled by a woman. I, I, and that's really the word that I'm, I'm really stuck on because I just don't like that word. 
Now, it's different if she is there for him when he is down. I'm, I'm happy to see a lot of women saying, look, I understand that my man is not a statue, that he's not a robot. I want, you know, women, especially black women to say, hey, I got you. When you're down, I got you. When you're going through things, I got you. When you're when you're in your emotions a little bit, I got you. But for a woman to come and say that she needs to coddle what is supposed to be a masculine man and then basically say, well, if you don't want to do that, then you just go down there to them feminine men, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. Feminine and masculine is two totally different things, you know, when you start to talk about this whole coddling situation. And then you also have to deal with maturity. You also, And this is why I'm always saying, I think sometimes people are using the wrong words and they're not looking at what's actually in front of them. I, like I say, I don't know if a masculine man would need to be coddled. A man that needs to be coddled more than likely is not fully in control of his emotions. And he's not at a place, I believe, where he knows how to handle certain situations with his emotions. Masculinity, um, you know, can be defined multiple ways depending upon how you look at it. Now, on this channel, I'm usually, you know, defining it more in the traditional sense um, of being a, pro a protector, a provider, and a leader. And somebody with those three traits does not need to be coddled. And if he does need to be coddled, like I said, it's probably a one in a three year or one in a five year type of thing. Because like I said, we're still all human. So I don't want to make men like they're Superman um, because that's not what men are. You know, they need to have the ability, especially with a really great woman, to be able to release their emotions, to uh, be able to be, you know, down a little bit and still have the woman to respect them. Now, remember, guys, that are watching me, I've told you all before, I do not believe that you should be, <laughs> you know, going crazy, crying, doing all this kind of weird stuff in front of your woman, especially when whatever it is you're going through lines up with the protection, the provision, and the leadership aspect, because very few women can actually handle that. And another thing that I'm always reminding my viewers is that most women that you see in these spaces, they actually are walking in their masculinity, at least a little bit, because they're instinct based. Remember, it takes a lot of energy to be out here on these YouTube spaces and be OK with people not only filming you, but also quoting you later on. Most you know, women that are in their heart energy or in their thinking energy do not want people to be able to do that to them. And even in the way that this woman talks, she talks, again, very direct, very literal. It's, 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 again, it's a little stronger than what we might see in the heart or the thinking type. So, again, I think what has probably happened is she found a guy that was very strong, you know, much stronger than any man that she's probably ever dated. But then he still has breakdowns. And it will probably be very difficult for her to, for instance, date somebody like me who I probably would not need that much coddling, even though I would fall, you know, every, you know, every once in a while. Don't get me wrong, but I probably wouldn't need that much. But at the same time, if she if that if the, if the energy that she has in this particular interview is the energy that she would have on a date with me, we wouldn't get past the first date. So these are the types of things that, you know. I always want you all to pay attention to. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm not saying her husband's a bad person. I'm not saying anybody is a bad person. But I, like I say, I take offense to that, just that word coddling. And I think that um, if you are with a masculine man, you're not going to have to coddle him. I do think you have to be there for him, but I don't think you have to coddle him. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, and I'm going to see you all in the very next video.